Oh, the challenger on all five rails. I did see that, yeah. I did see that. I thought he got some, like, crazy gift or something. Yeah, no, that's impressive, dude. Like, hitting challenger on, on even just one roll is impressive right now. Or, like, in general. The machine is ready. Yeah, hopefully, dude. I uh, didn't go Ignite, so I guess I'm not entirely ready. I think this guy's a pretty good Darius, too. I know he's a Darius Ben. He's got that weird Darius skin. Yeah, since I don't have the ignite, since I don't have the ignite though, we'll just play the lane a little bit more passively. It's not bad. It's just I do have to play a bit more passive. Like especially if the wave gets out of position. Okay, he's getting bone plating. Good to know. Always try to make a mental note of that. It's a 45 second cooldown, so you always kind of want to just time roughly in your head. You can also see up here. If you're going for like an E in though, like you want to make sure their bone plenty is down. I feel like the Q is actually easier to see on that skin. Like, it's easier to see the outline. Ooh, nice. I honestly thought I was going to miss that one. Are you going to see a tumble? Yeah, I'm feeling way better today, man. Yeah, appreciate the good vibes yesterday, man. Gonna still use Hole Breaker until it's nerfed? I plan to, yeah. But uh, once it's nerfed, man, I'll probably still build it in some like split push matchups, like Trindamir. But I don't know. I really can't see. I can't see myself building it after the nerf. Maybe I'll try it out. I don't know. I was watching a bit of Urpog and he doesn't think the nerf is too bad, but I don't know, man. The resist is literally cut in half. Also, dude, I'm more of a teamfight player anyway, so I don't know. Like, teamfight is my strength. I've never felt that good at the split push. But then again, like, I don't know. I'm still sad about the nerf because, like, Hullbreaker right now is still... With how it is right now, it is still good for teamfight. Or not good, but it's, like, decent because it's so good in the split push. I mean, honestly, split push aside, it's just really good on your level 9 spike. Like, it's so good even for, like, early lane, you know? That's definitely my favorite part of it. Got a ruby crystal. I don't even know if I can fight in this wave, man. I'll get a ward down, but the way he's running at me. Yeah. Okay, good flash. I shouldn't have went for that ward. I knew the way that Darius was running. I thought maybe he had a control ward. It's either control ward or jungle for sure. If he starts if you go to ward right here and they just start running at you, man. That is the biggest, biggest giveaway. Alright, we're just going to have to recall in this situation. The wave's more on his side, so it's going to stack up. He can't freeze that. Yeah, this is actually really good. This is fine. I'm glad I flashed before the pull there. You never thought Hullbreaker is good on Ergot, to be honest. He thrives more in teamfights. 
Mm. Urgot is good in team fights, but I think his split push is also really good. Like your 1v1, you, dude, even your 1v2, heck, even your 1v1v3 1v3 with Hallbreaker is pretty strong if you have flash up. If you're level 13, like you have flash up, Hallbreaker, man, you're crazy in the side lane. Your team fight's good if you have flash, but it also it heavily depends on like team comps. Like their team comp, for example, I'm not gonna be very good in team fights. Like Ezreal, Senna, Zerat, that's so much range. Which by the way, I'm gonna get Chem Tank this game for sure. Might help out a little bit. It's still gonna be tough with Tem with a uh, Chem Tank though. Hopefully I can just play for like the Lisa and Darius going in. And then try to like flash on their backline with a fear. I gotta see a pigeon. Hello, Death Monkey. Yeah, Lisa and he's gonna play topside now since they just got drag. Well, not 100%, but it's most likely he's going to play topside in the next, like, two minutes. And my wave's not the best. And he knows my flash is down, so. Let's see if we can get this Darius to key the wave, maybe. If I could get him to, like, key these mages. Eh, kind of. I think he got like one or two. Goliath online. See, this is where it's really tough, man. This is where having ignite is nice. If I have ignite, then I can push in this wave. Okay, Lee showed mid. Goliath online. Maybe we just try to go for it. I don't know. He's gonna ghost me down though. Okay, him queuing the wave is really good. Just started mating Urgot, feeling good. Carried 17, 3, and 11 versus Darius. Holy. Glad you're enjoying the Urgot, dude. Yeah, Darius isn't too bad. If you can get through the lane versus Darius, man. Urgot scales pretty nicely. I would say mid game, like, if you land E, he's pretty much dead, 100%. If you don't land E, then you have a little bit of chance to lose, but you still have a chance to win even, depending on how it's going. Oh yeah, we have Evergrowth this game as well. Honestly, I maybe should have gone unflinching. Yeah, I think I should have gone unflinching for sure this game. He's gonna fight me here. Honestly, if she lives, that's better for us, because we get an assist. I shouldn't have done that E. That E was pretty bad. It looked really deceptive, because I was kind of winning the 1v1. But he was getting his stacks up, so... Yeah, it looked a little bit more deceptive there. Not bad, though. And Sparty Goose with the tier 1 sub. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. I could have also flashed the Darius flash to you, probably. There's a lot of things I could have done differently there.
It's all good. He easily could have eaten that E. Elo Beasting Champion. Yeah, Ergot's pretty good. Uh, Ergot's really good up until Diamond, I would say. He gets really tough in Diamond, though, man. Once you get diamond with Ergot, it's a whole different, it's a whole different game. Dude, he has Hole Breaker already. So this is what really scares me about the Hole Breaker nerf, man. It's literally only getting, it's only getting nerfed for range champs. And Darius is building this every game into me, and it's actually so good. And so I guess it's just going to be like that for melee champs. It's just going to be really good. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to fight him when he has a... Wait a minute, he's trying to solo this. Hold on a sec. Dude, imagine if I snipe that Shelly with Q. So close. That's not bad though, he shouldn't get plates off the Shelly. Uh, he's got no TP, I guess. Let's get one. The reason why I only want to go for one here is because I don't want him to get a Shelly play. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, you know what? He might get my turret with Shelly, but he won't get plates no matter what. That one melee minion just didn't even care about my wave, dude. It just went around my minion wave. Hmm. Okay. Like the minion was literally watching my stream and just heard my plan. The minions are ghosting. If Riot does give Ergot compensation buffs, what would you want them to be? What is that laugh? Uh, let's see here. One sec. Mm, let's get a Bramble this game. Um, compensation buffs for Ergot. I would like a movement speed buff and like an HP region buff. I think the HP region that Hullbreaker gives is really nice. Those are like the small buffs they could do. Yeah, those are like the small buffs. I've heard people say, like, Kodama is a melee champion. But uh, I think they would have to nerf something if they did that, personally. I think it'd be too strong. It would be cool, but I think, I think it would be quite strong. You know, honestly, I'd be okay with them nerfing his level 13 damage a little bit. And making him count as a melee champ. So you can just build more items. I would be okay with that. Well, I think I'd be okay with it. It's hard to say on paper. It's hard to say without actually, like, play testing it, you know? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get ganked if I play up like this. I have no turret now, too. Dude, honestly, these 1v1s are gonna take forever. We both have a hull breaker and steel caps. Or got range is like a melee, really? I agree. Yeah, I agree. Like, you are short range. It is nice in lane sometimes. But if you want to actually do anything, you have to... Like, you have to go in melee. And that's why Urgot gets bullied by, like, every range champion. Urgot even gets bullied by, like, melee champions that have a little bit of range. Like Atrox or Gangplank, for example. Like, those champs are more range than Urgot and Lin. I have the TP advantage, so he either has to fight me or I just TP in. Shut down. The TP angle is not looking the best. This guy's good at sidestepping the E. Or maybe I'm just bad. Do we want to TP? All right, let's see what happens. Is he in the bush? I think he is. Dude, I think he jumped out. Okay, maybe not. I thought I saw him peek out of that bush. That's like the classic jungle steel man when they hide in that bush with the ocean soul map. I've seen that happen so many times. People always put like a control ward there too. It's actually a really good spot. Well, I'm glad we TP'd on that. Getting that drag is pretty huge. Do not want them to get an ocean soul with that team comp. I'm feeling a gank if I try to go for turret. Is she gonna be mad if I take Grant? Probably. Once I get some hover, I can push up here. Oh, he's gonna see that hole breaker cannon. <laughs> Maybe if I get out of range. He's got backup. That's fine. I got both his sums. I still have my flash. That's worth. I'm not getting on a Zerath, that's for sure. Maybe I'll just stay top here. Get a wave real quick.
beaten Darius so many times. I've lost to a lot of them lately too, though. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. If I mess up in lane versus Darius, though, I, I do tend to lose versus him. Then again, I always come back late game, though, even if I do lose the lane. Yeah, no, I think my win rate is pretty good versus Darius. It's a good Cleaver third game. We'll do Cleaver into the chem tank. Get some movement speed going. Yeah, Darius is extremely popular right now, though. Like, even in Diamond, man. Honestly, in all Elos, I've been seeing a lot of Darius. I think it's honestly because of that Hallbreaker build. I think that's a lot of it. I think the new Bruiser items are just better on him, too. Like, I'm pretty sure they go, uh, yeah, Trinity Force. Hallbreaker Trinity. And then even the new Sterak seems better, too. So it's good to stay top right now since I have the TP advantage. And also since I have flash advantage, we can try to 1v1. Maybe even 1v2. Yeah, the new Death Dance is super good on him, that's true. That's probably like the best item in the rework. I think Lee Sin's up here. That was a good flash by Lee. Thankfully kind of backfired since I had a good backdrop. Yeah, now we get free drag. They sent three top. Having TP is actually really nice right now because you can just you can just pressure the map, man. Like no matter what play they make right there, like they don't have a good play to make. Nice, so much gold. Yeah, this is what I was saying earlier, though, man. If you have flash up with Hullbreaker, like, you can 1v2 and 1v3. The thing is, you have to have that flash up. Well, you don't have to, but it, it helps a lot. Like, it pretty much secures the fact that you'll actually get a kill. If you don't have flash, you can usually still, like, defend yourself, but you don't usually get a kill, is what I've noticed in the split push. Unless they just literally run into you, which sometimes they do. I have had that happen a few times. Can we save her? I had a feeling I didn't really want to go for the save, but then I saw the pie cook and I was like, all right, let's try. We could have just went for a turret there and probably got out. Ooh, yeah, we just gave, uh, we just gave four shutdowns and they have objective bounties still. I have TP though. I don't think they can Baron. Evelyn's really good at stealing, but I guess Lee Sin is too. Evelyn's better at stealing if she can, uh... Yeah, she has flash. Ulti smite. Ooh, nice. I shouldn't have TP'd though. Or should I? Only we had a Kled ulti. Oh, 
dude, that was close. I had to get the angle too. I actually got the angle. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they tried to do that against Evelyn. I guess they were just banking on her not having flash. Because Evelyn, I think Evelyn's smite ulti does like 2 or 3k damage. And you can ulti smite at the exact same time. I think it's actually the best jungle for securing objectives. I think it's better than Nunu. Q smite, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, let's get a chem tank. That's right. The raid boss, Ergot. That's what Holebreaker turns you into, man. Honestly, Ergot's also kind of just a raid boss at 13+, plus, just off your champion. That's why so many builds work on him. Hey, I appreciate, appreciate that, Nelvrin. Germany, nice, dude. Uh, let's see. We definitely want to get drag. What is this guy doing? Uh, I got Ezreal. <laughs> he has crown on. It's fine. Not that long of a cooldown. Any advice on build after Holebreaker gets nerfed? I'm just gonna be going Titanic. It's gonna be the same build, just no Holebreaker, basically. Um, if you really need armor shed, Cleaver's also good. Cleaver's actually more DPS, but Titanic's more utility and you're tankier. Like personally, I'll be going Titanic a lot. And if they have a lot of armor, then I'll just go Cleaver. That's what I'm going to be doing for the most part. Mm, I should have stayed mid, I think. ADC down. I got that Xerath wave clear though. That Evelyn damage is something else, man. I honestly thought we were going to lose that. That's why I'm saving my E. I'm just saving for the buffer. Pike is looking like he wants to go for something. I can toss him a grindy. Good try. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Zero point three seconds for his death. The life of a pike. I'm going turbo this game because they have a. They just have really long range backline. And honestly, the ability haste also sounds kind of nice. Just for shorter ulties. 
It literally went down like eight seconds when I bought Chem Tank. I'll pressure bot here since we have TP. Guess Victor does too. They really shouldn't be able to play for a Baron with a double inhib down. I don't think they can really leave the base. Oh wait, this guy's gonna ruin my whole breaker. <laughs> Save the grinder. I knew we had that kill. All right, GG. I guess we don't even need the Baron. I thought my team was going to play for Baron. I guess they don't have Nexus turrets, though. Dude, Evelyn is probably the hardest champion to play against in higher elo. Like, I swear, that champion just always gets fed, man. Oh. 18k damage in a Darius lane, that's not bad, dude. Considering we played that pretty passively in lane. I'm happy about that one. Freedom by king. 